And this is the scene here at the King Power Stadium in Leicester. It is. I'm delighted to be able to report a beautiful day for football. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City, and they face Brentford. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the match begins. And the lineup for Leicester City. Franck Yannick Kessier starts with Maximilian Arnold in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. It is a decent looking attack here. And he takes on the shot and caught by the keeper. Well, let's send it over to Alex Scott, shall we? Because someone has scored in the Arsenal game. It's a goal for Arsenal. Alex, sorry to interject, but a big chance here. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the action underway again. And certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here. Well, sincere apologies to Alex, I must say, because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow. So to clarify, Arsenal have scored in that game, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick given. Nicely timed tackle. Arnold. Well, with the season winding down, it's still unclear who's going to be consigned to relegation. It does appear, Stuart, that the race could go to the final lap. Well, it is so tight at the bottom, isn't it? It's just about grinding out a couple of wins now. It doesn't have to be pretty. It has to be effective, though. But a goal to tell you about in the Arsenal game. Let's join Alex Scott. And it's a goal for Wolves. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 23 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And unable to keep possession. Chowdhury. Now with Rivera. Oh, good play this. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Now he must favour the cross. And the danger's still on. And well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Oh, good vision. And the alarm bells are ringing. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Poor pass. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, and that's been because of their ability. Well, we're tackling like that. The onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, not the first time he's been in trouble with the law in this game, and now it's a booking. You're absolutely right. He's committed too many fouls. He deserves the yellow card for that.
Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Could be threatening. Superb block. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, no more time left. That concludes the first half here at the King Power Stadium. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue the service hasn't been good enough, but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs to improve here. So back in business, the second half is underway. Leicester's difficulties there for all to see in the first 45. How do they respond now? This is looking threatening. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, the speculation has been out there for a while. And if the rumours are true, Newcastle could be about to add to their playing squad. Yes, the rumours suggest that the official bid is around £30 million, which I would say is fairly close to the mark. But is it good enough for them to let him go? Only time will tell. Uh, can they create something? Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Well, something has happened at one of the other... venues let's get the up-to-date news from Alex yeah Wolves were awarded the penalty the power on the strike it flew in the top corner they are now behind 2-1 with 60 minutes played many thanks as ever Alex Chowdhury and a tidy challenge. With the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR55 Dan. JKK, please contact your nearest security guard. Thank you. Not a good pass. Just a quick reminder we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Leicester City facing Aston Villa. Technique displayed and closed down straight away. Fifteen minutes left for play, and he's made headway. In it goes. The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Arnold. On to Lazzari. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And there's the feed into the box. Well, no problems defensively. He's in with a chance. And the keeper more than equal to it. Here it is now, a substitution. Corner kick played in. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, it still could be dangerous. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal.
As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Making progress. Oh, in with a chance. And still danger here. But no, that's the end of the move because offside is the verdict. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.